Hello YouTube, I'm Toby. Now this right here is my $32 custom water cooling loop. And this is uh, one liter of milk. Now as you can probably guess from the title of this video, I think you already know what this video is going to be about. Now there's no doubt in my mind that this may be one hell of a bad idea, but I simply just can't resist the urge to uh, try it. And I also thought you guys might find it interesting. Now before we start pouring this into the loop, um, I think we should go over the uh, numbers we have so far. With air cooling, the CPU package after 10 minutes of the Fairmark CPU burner test reached uh, 56 degrees Celsius. And with the uh, loop as it is right now, with the uh, appropriate cooling fluid in it, it reaches uh, just 50 degrees Celsius. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, empty out this loop. Alright, so according to real temp, our idling temperature is uh, the, around the high 20s, low 30s range, uh, which is already a little better than uh, the old stuff. Alright, so we're running Cinebench R15. Now with the air cooler we got 265 and with the uh, proper cooling fluid we got 267. I'm not expecting this to change much, but the, it's more the uh, temperature I'm, uh, I'm after here. Just 229. That is, uh, it's quite low. Uh, the maximum temperature during the uh, Cinebench test was 45 degrees Celsius. All right, so we are currently running the Fermark uh, CPU burner test and we'll be running this for around 10 minutes. All right, so it's been running for approximately 10 minutes. Let's just stop the test right there. And we reached a maximum temperature of 51 degrees Celsius, which is, um, well, more or less just one degree uh, above the uh, regular um, coolant. Alright, so what did we learn from this whole ordeal? Well, milk can be used as a cooling fluid in your water loop, however, however it's more like uh, shooting yourself in the foot for, to get out of work. Sure, you'll get out of work, but you got a hole in your foot. Now, I just spent, I don't know, an hour uh, just running uh, clean water through this system in the hopes to uh, clean it out and I can still see a little milk residue in here So the long-term effects on your lube may be uh, horrific to say the least But I hope you enjoyed this video and <laughs> Learned something because uh, I'm probably not gonna do this again, but thank you very much for watching